हेलो फ्रेंड दिस रूपेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग सीपीपी नेट्स वीडियो सीरीज ऑन बिट मैनिपुलेशन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर व्हिच इज राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड वेदर अ नंबर इज पावर ऑफ टू और नॉट सो इफ यू हैव सम नंबर लाइक सिक्स दिस इज पावर ऑफ टू एट यस इट इज पावर ऑफ टू फोर यस इट इज पावर ऑफ टू टू यस वन यस बट फिफ्टीन नो इट इज नॉट थर्टीन नो ट्वेल्व नो इलेवन नो थ्री नो फाइव नो सो देर आर डिफरेंट वेज you can actually find whether this number is given to you is power of 2 or not but i am going to tell you only one simple trick using bit manipulation as this is a bit manipulation question and let's try to just have this table so we have this binary representation and this is decimal representation so which number is divisible i mean power of 2 this one this one this one and no other and if i will write 8 then that would look something like this and this is also power of 2 number so if you notice one thing there is this common thing that if your number is power of 2 then you have set bit only one time in your binary representation so see we have only one set bit here we have only one set bit here we have only one set bit here and one set bit here rest are like more than one see 2 2 2 3 2. so they are not power of 2 so now it becomes very easy you just have to find how many set bits are there in this binary representation of the number so let's suppose if you have given 6 16 is like 1 4 times 0 okay i mean you know how to find set bits right i have already explained in my previous videos in the series but wait a minute this is still not the best optimized way to find this there is still another way i'll show you that so the idea is if your number is 16 then the binary representation of this guy is 1 4 times zeros correct and then we wanted to find this set bit is 1 no let's not do that do one thing subtract minus 1 with this number so that is going to be 15 and that is going to look like i'll write that here 0 1 1 1 and 1 see exactly opposite to this one can you see that let me give you example for 4 so 4 is like 100 right and if you want to write 3 see we have 100 here with 4 and 3 is like just reverse of that so one is 0 1 0 1 0 so every bit is reversed if you just do one minus so here also we will do so this is your 4 and this is your 3 and if you do bitwise and operation between these two the result is zero so can we safely say that if my number is bitwise operated with n minus 1 then whatever the result would come if that result is zero meaning my n is power of 2 because we can see the result here but there is a problem with this approach when n is equal to 0 so this formula n m percent n minus 1 will not work when n is equal to 0 so in order to handle this case what we can do we can use n so this is your whole formula now if n is present meaning n is not 0 then only you go ahead and apply this formula otherwise return from here only saying that no it's not power of 2 so n logical and operation not sign because the result of this guy would be zero right so if this is zero meaning positive we are saying that yes it is actually power of 2 so if we will put this symbol meaning it is like a true and then n is having some value m percent i mean logical and with true or one is it still one and true so this whole formula is becoming true meaning this n is actually power of 2 and you can return this so this is only single line in your function you just pass this n and write this line and that's it and in your previous example where we were finding whether there is only single one set bit that was still taking some iterations to do right but this is like order of 1 isn't it a good way to find this yes it is so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos